Hey everyone, I'm John Sisson and today we're taking a look at the Carl Zeiss 25mm F2 bat test lens for the Sony E-mount system. The 25mm is a new lens in Zeiss's new bat test lens lineup and brings in new technologies and more high-end choices for Sony's ever-growing E-mount system. Now this lens is specially developed by Zeiss in-house and also features autofocusing. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through its build, handling, features, and more importantly, the image quality that you can expect out of this lens. So stay tuned as I take you through a tour of the lens as well as why I personally think of it. Firstly, the 25mm has a solid build that is built like a tank with a sleek black finish and a rubber ring for manual focusing which in my opinion, I much more prefer than Sony's rubber rings like the 28-70mm lens. You can see the blue Zeiss badge quite clearly on both sides of the lens, and there is an OLED display on the top, which I'll get into more detail later in the video. Supplied with the lens is a plastic pedal type lens hood, with the name on the lens printed on the top, and having the lens hood screwed onto the lens makes everything look so sleek and svelte. It also has a 67mm filter thread. The lens weighs approximately 335 grams, which isn't too heavy. And while it may be a bit large for some people, I feel like using it on Sony's a7 II cameras, it's the perfect match. And while walking around with it, I haven't had any issues with the weight, but having a weather resistant design means that I can take it out with me in pretty much any condition. Autofocusing was reasonably fast and accurate and very quiet and with a minimum focusing distance of 20 centimeters, the lens is capable of taking some decent close-up shots. The OLED display is one of the lens's main features and I must say it's a pleasure to use as it shows the focusing information. Having it electronic is definitely useful for when you're manual focusing in dark conditions and just using manual focus in general was great to use as the focusing ring was nice and smooth and offered just the right amount of resistance. With the OLED display, there is a bit of a trick to using it. If you turn the focusing ring to the left, a little menu will pop up where you can change how you want the display function to work. You can have it on all the time, only on when in manual focus, or off altogether. And to switch between them, you have to turn the focusing ring quickly again to the left. If you turn the lens to the right, it will change the metric measurements from meters to feet. I found it a bit tiring using this method, but eventually you'll get it to the right settings. Now this lens is phenomenal. Wide open at f2, it gives you some nice and smooth out of focus blur. It surely is one of a kind because this lens is wonderfully sharp from corner to corner, especially when stopped down to f2.8. Chromatic aberration is kept to a minimal with a tiny bit of vignetting in the corners. As for barrel distortion, it's virtually non-existent. This lens is fantastic and I love shooting with it. The colors it produces with just the right amount of contrast makes it a joy to shoot with. Even when cropping it, there is so much detail. The Carl Zeiss 25mm f2 Batis lens is definitely a keeper and a lens that you should consider, especially if you're shooting landscapes, architecture, street photography, or even using it for casual use. In terms of image quality, there's nothing that comes close to this lens at the moment in this focal length. It's sharp in the centers, even in the corners, very minimal chromatic aberration, very minimal distortions, and the colors that you're getting out of this lens are one of a kind. Now, if there's anything that would persuade pe or dissuade people from actually purchasing the lens, it would be its high price tag. But with high premium glass, you're gonna expect to pay a lot of dollars for it. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. And if you already own one, let me know what you think of it. And remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more Sony lens reviews and tutorials. You can also check out my sample, uh, my Facebook page for more sample photos and also my Instagram for more photo updates. Until then, happy shooting and thanks for watching.